Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now at first glance this may look like an ordinary 8800 GTS but it has been somewhat transformed by myself. I call this project boredom. This is what happens when you have a spare graphics card lying around that you know you're not going to use again but you think it should be repurposed for something else and so this time I have built a computer inside this graphics card. Now it's not the best looking PC I've ever built as I'm sure you'll all agree and it's not the most practical but it sort of gives some life to this 8800 GTS that would honestly otherwise sit on the shelf because I'm not likely to use it in a gaming build again for quite some time. As you can see there's the improvised power button there but enough of the exterior shots, let's get into this thing and I want to show you guys what I've done to this in order to turn it into a fully functional desktop PC that may even be capable of running a couple of older games. Sorry if I'm talking a bit quiet today, I've got a little bit of a sore throat. So let's crack into this graphics card and reveal the internals. Lifting off the back there and we see that uh, basically everything has been kept the same. The back plate with the actual GPU chip on remains unchanged, there's not much we can do with that. Inside we've got a tiny atom based motherboard, uh, two USB connectors here and here as well as an Ethernet port and an HDMI connector and the power port there. Now there really wasn't much to this, this is the old cooler that we had to rip out the inside of this thing because you're probably wondering where that went but unfortunately there is no room for that anymore although it's probably easy to put back should we need to. So as I was saying before this is just an Atom motherboard ripped out of another mini PC that I've somewhat repurposed with some screws and a little bit of tape. I've actually stuck the original graphics card fan back there just for decorative purposes although I haven't actually found a way to um, make this work just yet and as you can see we've got the little power button that goes underneath the card when it's all put back together. So let's turn this thing on here it is in open air mode one of the ways that you could use this and probably the most recommended way for the best airflow. Here we are in Windows 10 which this thing runs natively and here is a shot of us using the card with it all put back together Together, which can be done with three simple screws. As you can imagine I had to remove quite a bit of plastic in order to accommodate these uh, still rather small internals. If we hop into the system details here I'll just show you the specs of this thing. As you can see we're rocking an Intel Atom Z3735F quad core processor at 1.33 gigahertz. So you're probably wondering by now can this thing game? Well, I've put a couple of older titles to the test in order to see if it can do just that. First up we have the original Portal, which we were able to run at 900p with the low settings and 36 frames on average with a minimum of 22. Not bad, but you probably won't be able to play many newer games as this is, at the end of the day, just an Intel Atom based PC. And Far Cry runs 720p resolution with the low settings and 55 frames per second with a 34 minimum. Not bad in my honest opinion and I could happily play this game all day using this rather silent system. I'm going to show you now some photos of the process as I went along. I didn't live record this because it was sort of just uh, done on the spot and made up as I went along. But here we are, I'll show you some shots of progress. We had to strip down and remove everything. But the internals actually sat quite nicely within the motherboard shell and there was even a screw hole here that I used as an improvised mounting slot. Most of the plastic was cut away on the outside to accommodate those uh, little connectors there. And that's all there really is to it. It's a project that you could undergo yourself if you really wish to. I hope you enjoyed this video which has been a little bit different. And guys, hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.